I moved to the new My Toyota app in March 2023 when I received this notification on my phone. I've reviewed the new app and compared it to the old My T app in the video with the link in the top corner. I've found that this new app is a bit quirky in its behaviour. That's probably a nice way of saying that there's a few bugs that Toyota really need to fix. This video looks at two of the problems that I've come across regularly and easy workarounds for them. I'll also discuss a complete outage for the app in August 2023. The first bug occurs every time I leave the car unlocked for more than five minutes. The app correctly triggers a notification to let me know that the doors are unlocked. I tap on the notification to go to the app and the app requests that I authenticate myself. I've set up fingerprint identification and for security reasons my screen recorder blanks the video while the fingerprint is verified. After my fingerprint is verified I get into the My Toyota app but there are no cars registered in the app. The app is requesting that I add my vehicle. Obviously this isn't correct, I've already done this. If I tap on the notification icon which has a red dot to indicate there is a new notification, the app clearly does know about my car because it's showing me the notifications and the notification history for my car. But if I go back to the vehicle tab, the app is still asking me to add my vehicle. My workaround for this problem is to go to the recent screen on my phone. It's also known as the overview screen or recent task screen or maybe recent app screen. And I can then just close the My Toyota app by swiping up. I can then return to my home screen and I can open the My Toyota app again. And this time the app opens up correctly with all the details about my car. The second bug is when I open the app and I have the mileage, fuel, lock status but no other information. I can always quickly recognise when this bug has occurred because I get this picture of the technician checking the tyre pressure. This picture isn't shown when the app is working correctly. The fix for this bug is even easier. Just drag the page down and the page refreshes and all the details of your car will reappear. On Wednesday the 23rd of August 2023, I tried to open the My Toyota app on my phone. Unfortunately, the app showed the red splash screen with the Toyota logo and then crashed. I tried again and this time I got an Android error message indicating that there was a bug in Mighty which needs to be fixed by the developer. I also got a device care notification which is recommending that I put Mighty into deep sleep because it's crashing so regularly. This was a very serious fatal bug that totally stopped me using the app. It took Toyota several days to fix this bug. My phone automatically updated the app and the app started to work again on Sunday the 27th of August. For a company that has built a reputation for extremely reliable cars, I'm very surprised by how unreliable the app is.